All right, welcome back, folks. Part number 16 of the Muscle Iron KQL series, the order, sort, and top operators. So first thing to know, head over to uh, aka.ms slash muscle KQL to see part 16 of Rod's blog series. It has more detail than I'm probably going to go over here. Let's head over to the KQL playground. First things first, order, sort, same difference. You can use either keyword basically the same functionality. So if we run this command uh, where we're looking at security events for the last seven days and we're just limiting to 100 iterations, maybe this makes sense, maybe it doesn't make sense, maybe it's what we're looking for, maybe it's not. Maybe we can make better sense out of this if we put it in some sort of order. So if we scroll down here and run this code, so we're grabbing essentially the same information. We're sorting or ordering it by the time generated in ascending order. So descending order is the default. However, comma, you can put descending there and it'll still work. So you can see these are the most recent. And these should be the 10 oldest. Going back seven days so you can see the 15th so that's pretty much the sort order operator uh, what else could I you can sort or order your uh, data based on multiple columns so you don't have to necessarily just use time generated you could use a combination of a few all right let's move on to top so this is what top would look like. So basically taking the top 10 security events by time generated. So these are also the most recent or the last 10, let's say it that way. And you could put a hundred here or a thousand or whatever number you want to pull out as long as there's data there. All right, so that is the order sort and top operators. Uh, again, head over to aka.ms slash must learn KQL uh, to see Rod's complete series. Thank you for watching and I will see you on part 17.